patience, PPE, you can start if you like. Have your HVE, high volume evacuator, your air water syringe. You can use your saliva ejector, but um, you're not going to use that so much when you're in the operatory. You'll use it a lot for a dental dam to suction and things like that. But for right now, we can have these here. I have my cotton rolls. These are very helpful um, when you're chair side. You do not have to depend on these. I want you to try not to use them. But these are helpful. I'm going to show you how to take them out because there is a wrong and a right way to remove these from the mouth. Again, this is not a, a procedure that you will see on a schedule. But again, this is what you will do every day when you are in hygiene or in uh, the operatory. So what I'm going to do for you all, since you're really, really new, is I'm going to say upper right, upper left, lower left, lower right. If you're here and you're a senior student lamp wire like Michaela or Be Beza, Mariah. I'm, I'm sorry, Mariah, excuse me, <laughs> and Beza, once you get to that level, I'm going to say number 14 has an occlusal. I want you to know where number 14 is and where you should be with the air water syringe and the HVE if that tooth were to have a cavity. I'm going to be working all over the mouth today. Typically, you're not going to be working all over the mouth in one shot. All this is is to show you where you should be if I were to have a cavity up here, down here, on the anterior or here. Um, when you all check off, I'll, I'll have you checking off on a Dexter. Um, but I just wanted to show you. I'm rubbing you. I'm a rubber. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I'm just showing you on a live person because a live person has saliva, which you'll have to try to counteract. Some people have an overabundance of saliva. Some have zero stomia, which is dry mouth, which you'll have to deal with. The little ones and big ones have <laughs> wiggly tongues. Anytime you go in there, it's like, oh my God, someone's here to play. And you've got to learn how to be the boss with this HVE when it's in the mouth and control that tongue. We have frenum in our mouth here, those lines there a big one there, and little ones also on the side here. We want to protect those from our HVE. It's an HVE, high volume evacuator. So that means it has a lot of power, and you as dental assistants can cause serious problems. Um, uh, so you can rip a lip with this HVE. You can rip a commissure, which are the sides of the lip, of the corners of the mouth. You can also rip off those hernia. You can suction up the cheek and lip too much where you cause ulcers in this patient's mouth. And you do not want to be the cause of this. And this is why we're practicing where to go with this. Will you suction up a lip, cheek, or tongue? Yes, but hurry up and try not to do it over and over again. And if you do, do not say a whole bunch of, oh, 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 uh oh, uh oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, because that patient's going to be like, I'm getting up out of here. Ghetto mm -hmm. smiles is not for me. <laughs> okay? So if you make these mistakes, just get out of the way really fast. I'm going to also show you your basic paths, which we've already practiced as we've done this. But I'm a two hand, Miss Martinez is a one hand, uh, no, two hand. Not. I'm a one, she's a two. This, my hand's always going to be on the cheek, on the fulcrum right here. This is my resting place. That's because at the beginning of your um, procedures, you're going to have those in this hand. You don't want to always put down, pick up, put down, pick up. And that's great, hold it when you're a two hand. That's fine. Conform to your two hand. But until then, if I've got to pick this up and not want to put that down, hold on to it. Hand me those there. See how she's not making it difficult? This is where we want to be. So she's going to go in the mouth. I'm going to put this down. I'm not scared of it. Pick my HB, uh, high vol, uh, what is this? High yeah, speed. High speed. <laughs> Water normally comes out of this. This one may not be working. So if it's not working, I'm going to need your help. And you're going to have to know your place. I'm going to go here, the upper left, which is tooth number 14, on the occlusal. I'm always going to let you go in first. My dentist always let me go in first. Again, work as a team. Watch what your dentist does. They may sit here and wait or say, go in. Go for it. I'm here. This is your job as well. This is all your job is to make sure that this is where it's supposed to be. Go ahead and big. Turn that on. Notice she's holding that HVE like she's stabbing. Some of y'all look like some stabbers up in here, Destiny. 
Some of y'all look like you're some pen pals. Either you're going to write a letter or you're going to stab. Either way, you're going to keep that thumb control by your thumb both ways. Go for it. Go in. Look toward me. That's see how she's toward me. So you're going to have to get in and retract. I don't need that yet. If you want to come up close to my bubble, come in here. We got five minutes left. So I can show you this eight. Come on. This bevel here, this is called a bevel. This is where that water goes in. You do not want it to be toward the cheek or the lip or the tongue. So you want it to be toward the tongue. I'm gonna take her tongue and pull it with that mirror. You're gonna take the HVE and pull it toward you. That way we isolate, that open up that no, space. <laughs> open wide. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm supposed to be up here. So I did the upper. So whenever I'm up here to get out of my way, stay there, but go down. Anytime I'm on the lower, you're going to stay there and come up. You see how that bevel is where it's supposed to be. Open big, big. Your job is to watch that mirror. Anytime that mirror is in the mouth, open super big, Cherie. Good girl. That's good. Watch that mirror. Pull out just a little bit. Stay in there and get that mirror. But you see how we're almost sword fighting? Yeah. Back up just a bit. You can come in there like that. Get to that mirror. Now you see how that light is not in my way? Up to has a very ghetto fabulous light. So you want to make sure it, I, it gets on that tooth I need. Back up a little bit. Good. Now you're not in my way. I'm going to pull out. I'm going to grab my slow speed. She's going to talk to my patient while I come out quickly and say, look me toward her. me. She's going to do a very quick power rinse of that tooth I worked on. And then she's going to use air to blast that water out of the prep. I've already got my high speed, my slow speed. This is how fast you want. This you don't want to pick up a lot. This is open big. You definitely don't want to tell her to close. Open, close on this. All of that back wash and spit's going to sit right up here in this, in this, in this uh, tube. So you never want them to close. Don't have them do that. And I know you see a lot of people do it. You'll ha you'll be one if you go to the dental office. They'll say close. That's not correct. You don't want to do that. Okay, so keep it open. We're gonna go to the <laughs> we're gonna go to the anterior. Anytime I'm here on the facial, you want to be on the lingual, out of my way. Anytime I'm on the lingual, you want to be on the facial, out of my way. You see how we're in totally opposite spaces. You do not want this HVE rubbing against her gingiva. She's gonna be numb in most cases in the operatory. So no, it's not going to hurt her, but you don't want to hurt her at all. When that anesthesia wears off, you don't want to have hap rubbed against that gingiva and harmed her. So here's a way you can protect her from that is my cotton roll. You can keep it on. Pull it down. Her clothing down helps me to control her lips a little bit better. They're not as tight as when it was open wide. When she opens wide, you see how I can't open big. I don't have a lot of control. Close. Now I do. Now her lips are flimsy for me. Now I can put this where I want it to go. Rest that HVE right there on top of that cotton roll. You can rest it on top of the teeth if you want, but if I'm prepping that tooth, it's in my way. So I want it right on that cotton roll. You are retracting that lip out of my way. On the cotton roll, not too. There. Okay. Now I'm in the mouth. Open super big. What is she to focus on? Is that mirror. Air and water, please. Blast it two at a time. Same time, together, together. If there's a lot of debris, I need air and water. Put that on there. Keep that there. Isolate. Okay, now just air. Get Her breath may make my mirror foggy. Okay, have a look towards you. Leave this there. Suction that out. Good, get down in there, but don't choke her. Good. Now, if you look at this, this cotton roll is stuck. It's doing its job. It's isolating like it's supposed to. I don't want to pull it off because it's going to rip the top of that buckle mucosa or uh, that mucosa off. Mm -hmm. So she's going to take that air water, just a little bit of water, and put oh, it right up. Okay. It may wet you a little bit, excuse me. And then I'm going to pull it off because otherwise I don't want to pull off a layer of that gingiva. She got a little shower today. It's okay. <laughs> now you're refreshed. 
Yeah. <laughs> you see how that water got on her face and we didn't make a big deal out of it? She just didn't either. She may be a diva and have her makeup all <laughs> contoured and looking good. I still don't want to make a big deal out of it. I just want to make a joke out of it. Oh, girl, you need another shower. <laughs> That's all we're going to do. Okay? Because otherwise she's going to be like, mm, she, I spent me hours on this. Let's make it a joke so she don't worry about it. I'm going to come now, which is a difficult part, is this upper right side to number one, two, and three. You want to just come right across that palette right there on the lingual side, right here. I'm in the mouth of my mirror. Now we all can see. I'm getting in there. I see debris. Let's get air and water on that mirror together. Now just air, please. Keep that right here on the lingual, right here. If I got to go on the lingual there, and you want to come on the bus, on the knee disco, so we're like that, okay? Okay, get in there, rest that too. Have a look towards you. Talk to her. Stay there, cross that palette right here. Blast the tooth. Get that devil right there. Blast it. Air, water, both. Okay, now you're going to come here. Good. Give her a good rinse in the whole mouth. Don't move this around. Keep that here. When you guys get in this field a little longer, you can move it around. Until then, leave it right here. Okay, pull out. Okay, let's do the bottom right. If you've got to go, you can go. She probably want to see this. Notice how I'm pulling out her cheek. She's going to pull her tongue toward her. Turn this all the way on. That's annoying. All the way on. Good. Get that tongue and pull it towards you. Don't notice she's got a wiggly tongue. Mm -mm. Get that tongue. Move your tongue toward her. Notice how she's got that tongue, guys. Notice how I got the cheek, guys. Now we both can see. That's what you want. If you don't have control over that tongue, you can put your cotton roll in there sublingually. What does sublingual mean? What is that? Under, Under the tongue. So it's sublingual. Now you're protecting everything just like that. Now I can go in, do what I've got to do. If i got to go on the lingual, go distal. You put this distal there. Still want to do the same thing if that cotton roll's in the mouth? Wet it for me. Pull it out for me. Pull that cotton roll out. You can pull it out with this if you can okay. get it. Yeah, suck that bad boy out. Oh. There you go. Again, this is your job. You don't want to forget this. So now I'm going to move it to the bottom, what she should be doing. Okay. I'm going to do the anterior here. So where should she be? Lingual. Mm -hmm. Make sure you get that bevel. Sorry, that's your eye. Go there. Stay there. Don't suction up that frenum back there, though. And that water is going to come right out there. Good, I don't need that yet because water is coming out my high speed. I'm going to pull out, stay there, rinse that too, controlled rinse. You don't want to push on there like it's a water gun. It's not a water gun fight. You want control because if this is a little kid, there is a burr in here, a very sharp burr. If she moves and gets startled because you blasted that, which little kids will, now you flip, slit her lip cheek or tongue. So you want to control that just like you do with your car. Some of y'all room up out of here when it's 1230. You want to really put it down in there so you can have a control. Now I'm going to do the facial. Now you want to take this, or lingual, excuse me. You want to take this and retract her, her lip. And if you want to put in cotton roll there, you can. Okay, pull it down for me. Open a little. Okay, go ahead, rest it right there for me. Now I'm gonna be on the lingual, open wide. And you can tell them to open wide too. Get that mirror. You're just getting all that air off. Any debris, air, water, blast it both together. Now it's just air. Good, now leave that there. Reach back there and clean that tooth up. I'm gonna grab my slow speed. Have her look towards you. All that spitting blood's gonna come over here. Good, I got you. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Open wide. This is where you're going. That's your place, right here. So you know how to go everywhere. Don't know. Definitely don't want to do this. This is a big. <laughs> Keep this still. Move that around. Okay. Good. 
Last place over here, bottom left. Look toward me, please. Open super big. I have her tongue. I'm pulling it toward me. She's going to pull her cheek toward her so we both can see. Go for it. And get off my toes. <laughs> Sorry. She's banging up my patient. Go in that mouth. This right here is not retracting anything, nor is it suctioning anything. So I do not want you sitting here with this HVE right here. Okay? You want to go in and suction and pull it towards you so you can see. Don't put it down her throat. She ain't about that life. Okay, leave it right there. Okay, I'm gonna pull her tongue toward me. Now we both can see I don't need any air or water. I'm getting that tooth. Now I pull out, tell her to look towards you. Now get that mouth. That's Rinstra and Retract, okay?